Hi everyone, this is English for All. We continue studying different rules with you. First, we have to look at the nouns. If you remember, we have already learned some aspects today, we can learn more. Then we can take a look at the video presentation about present continuous or present progressive. And of course, the students who are interested in English-speaking countries, we have a new quiz about Australia. So remember that this quiz will help you to learn much more about the country where people speak English. You see, a lot of work we have to do. Let's get started. So last class we were talking with you about nouns and main rules how to build correct plural forms and today we continue studying this part of speech in English. We have prepared a new presentation for you. Here you can learn new rules how to pronounce plural forms correctly and start learning some rules about countable and uncountable nouns. So watch the presentation attentively. Today I'm going to talk with you about nouns, so how to use nouns in a correct way and what to say about this part of speech in English. You have to look at the nouns and choose one uncountable noun from the groups. The first one is furniture, chair or desk. This noun is called furniture. Butter, jar, or book. It's butter. Potato, carrot, or juice. It's juice. Loaf, slice, or bread. It's bread. Bottle, glass, or can. It's glass. How we use a lot of, much and many with different nouns. Let's take a look at this presentation and try to learn more rules. For example, look at this picture. Is there much cheese on the plate? Have you got many friends? You have a lot of books in your library. Let's take a look when we use much, when we use many, and when we use a lot of. We usually use a lot of mostly in positive sentences with countable and uncountable nouns. Her friend has a lot of interesting stories about life in Rome. We use much mostly in questions and negative sentences with uncountable nouns. Do you have much patience? We use many mostly in questions and negative sentences with countable nouns. Do you have many friends who live in London? Look at the sentences and choose a lot of, much, or many. Her cousin has friends on Facebook. Her cousin has a lot of friends on Facebook. She likes meat, she doesn't eat a lot of, much, or many fish. We say she doesn't eat much fish. Has she visited a lot of, much, or many countries in Europe? Has she visited many countries in Europe? Do you use a lot of, much, or many paper in your office? Much paper is all right. She reads a lot of, much or many books every year. She reads a lot of books every year. I want to have a lot of, much or many money in future. A lot of money in future. 
Last episode, we were talking how to build positive sentences for present progressive. For example, he's talking on the phone now. Oh, she's playing the piano. Today, we are talking how to build different sentences and we have more rules for spelling. So, watch the presentation attentively and learn as much as you can. Let's take a look at present continuous and more rules. The spelling. If a verb finishes with E, we omit it and use ING. For example, write, writing, dance, dancing. See, seen. In some verbs, letters can be doubled. Begin, beginning. Swim, swimming. Travel, traveling. If a verb finishes with IE, use Y, I, and G. For example, lie, lying. Now you make continuous forms from the following verbs. To walk, walking. To dance, dancing. To swim, Swimming Shop Shopping Win Winning So the transformation part. Let's take a look at this and try to look at the following sentences and make Questions. He is riding a bicycle. Is he riding a bicycle? They are listening to music. Are they listening to music? We are playing chess. Are we playing chess? Look at the pictures and say what the people are doing on these pictures. He is repairing a car. She is packing her luggage. She is playing tennis. Have you ever been to Sydney? This is a wonderful city worth visiting. In this following video presentation, we are going to talk not only about the city, but about the whole country where the city is. It's Australia. We are taking a look at Australian different cultural aspects, including cities, money, language, food, and other essential scenes. Let's take a look. We talk about Australia, and we have a quiz for you to understand this country a little bit better. What does the name Australia mean? Southern, Eastern or Western? The name Australia actually means Southern. What river is the longest in Australia? The Murray, the Darling? All the black land. The longest river in Australia is the Murray. Mm -hmm. 
Sydney is called a cosmopolitan city. Why? Because of its size, attractions, or lots of cultures. It's called cosmopolitan city because of a lot of cultures. What is the name of this building? The tower, the parliament, or its opera house? So the building is called Sydney Opera House. What is the name of this bridge? Sydney Harbour, Tower, or Westminster? It's Sydney Harbour Bridge. What is the official currency in the United Kingdom? So it's dollar, euro, or pound. The official currency in the United Kingdom is a dollar. Okay, we've done a lot of work today. You did your best. You have learned more new rules for nouns, plural forms, pronunciation, countable and uncountable nouns, and then you know how to build present continuous or progressive. And you checked up your knowledge about Australia. So have a good day, take care, and goodbye.